Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to and Unity for All. I'm going to launch right into this one today. Russia, Russia, Russia. I am so sick of hearing about Russia. I'm going to give this my own spin on this. We all know there's been no evidence of Russia interfering in our elections. Some people from Russia, not proven anything to do with the Russian government, bought some social media ads, which amounted to a drop in the bucket for the campaign. At most, at absolute most, it came to less than $100,000 that was spent before the election. And much of that came down to Bernie coloring books and stuff like that. And they're talking about how Russia was trying to divide this country like we were unified, bite me. We've had sexism, racism, and prejudice in this country since before the American Revolution. Let's not go there. Don't talk about Russia trying to divide us. We do quite a good enough job on that. So, I'm not going to go into all of this stuff, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I might do another one on Uranium One and all that garbage later. There is no proof that Russia did anything. So, let, here's where my spin comes in. Let's, let's say that Trump is a Russian agent or whatever. What exactly does that mean? What does it mean? It means that, you know, we're not going to go to war with Russia. Oh, there's a concept. Let's not go to war with someone. When your goal is to be at war with the entire planet, there's something wrong with you. And I'm going to do another, my next video is going to be on what the real budget for our military is. And it's a hell of a lot more than you think. So, Why are people afraid of being friends with Russia? What does it mean? That we have more trade? Russia is growing non-GMO crops. They are the world's largest producer of oil. It means that we could spend less money on warfare on military equipment. Our, our military budget keeps going up and up and up, and every dollar that is spent on the military is not being spent on infrastructure, not being spent on social programs such as Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, welfare, food stamps, and all those things benefit our economy. When it goes into all these weapons, it does not help our economy. It all goes to some rich corporate bank account. What is the problem with being friends with Russia? Does it mean we're going to become a communist country? Russia is no longer a communist country. They haven't been since 1991. What is the problem? Define this problem. Think about this. 
There is no problem with us being friends with other countries. When was the last time that you remember America engaging in peace talks with another country? When was the last time that our president went and sat down with the leader of another country to try and avoid warfare? Everything that our government is doing to be a world peacemaker has to do with more weapons. It's time for us to change that. If we want to call ourselves world leaders and peace, then we need to pursue peace, not war, not conflict, not opposition. Obama signed us to spend one trillion dollars to upgrade our nuclear weapons while Russia is talking about reducing nuclear weapons. It is time for us to start using diplomacy. It is way beyond that time. What is it benefiting? to keep spending more on weapons, on warfare, on hate. Where does this end? What do you see, how do you see this coming to a conclusion? Because the direction that we're going, it can end only one way. So stop the Russia bullshit. If you're talking about how Russia is interfering in anything, stop asking whether they are. Ask what the end result could be. What, ne what negative is there to find in this? Ask yourself, if it is true, then why is it bad? That's not saying there's any, I'm not going to say there's any validity to any of it. But I'm not going to say there's not. I'm saying it doesn't matter. What matters is the end result. So please hit like and subscribe. Uh, share this video. Please share this video this particular video with all of your friends. We need to start spreading these questions. Make people start asking. Make people think about it. If you can, uh, please become a patron on Patreon. Like I said, I've got a long way to go before I'll ever make a penny off of this. Uh, I'm still under a hundred views and before I ever get to uh, even be reviewed for monetization, uh, in other words, getting paid for these videos from YouTube, I have to hit 10,000 views, so I have a long way to go. Uh, anyway, I'll put uh, the link for Patreon below, and thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next time.